Firstly, we are able to control blood flow around the brain at will using our imagination. So, can we extend these principles beyond lycra-clad athletes and into the realms of, of other, uh, other parts of life, in everyday life? Well, here I think we see some profound implications. When someone suffers a stroke due to an arterial blood clot, Bra uh, blood is prevented from getting to the parts of the brain that it once fed. And without these oxygen and nutrients feeding them, those tissues die, and slowly too do the surrounding tissues around it. But when the sufferer imagines uh, moving the, the limbs that may have been paralyzed as a result, blood flow increases to the parts of the brain affected, thereby diminishing the damage done to those areas of the brain. There are two really important messages here for me. Firstly, we are able to control blood flow around the brain at will using our imagination. That's pretty amazing. But secondly, in order to do this effectively, we have to have a positive focus. In other words, we've got to be able to focus on what we do want rather than just on what we don't want. Conversely, those more resilient were able to effectively visualize and stay focused on their day-to-day -day goals thereby sending much more blood flow to the areas of the great brain responsible for decision-making, problem-solving, and general positive action. It was therefore these people who ended up more resilient uh, under threat.